friends, welcome back to the channel. I'm so glad you've joined me today. You know, it, it's a new year, 2023, happy new year. And it's getting ready to be the beginning of a brand new week. Tomorrow is Monday. And I don't know about you, but I have some things, some personal goals that I would really like to focus on this year. And I began thinking about how can I establish a daily routine that I will actually stick to? <laughs> that is the number one question, isn't it? Um, now, there's this book, and I often mention this, and it's an excellent read. If you have um, Audible or an audiobook, um, you, this would be an easy thing to listen to as you do dishes, drive in the car, whatever, but Atomic Habits, or if you're like me, you like an actual hard copy, <laughs> Atomic Habits by James Clear. Excellent read. I plan to reread this very soon, um, but he has some great uh, tips and tricks about um, building, combining your new habit that you're trying to establish in with your old habits. So your brain says, okay, when after I do this, then I do that. Kind of making it more of an automatic thing than a negotiable thing. And that's what I have been thinking about. You know, as I begin my morning, uh, this is my routine. I get my cup of coffee. I've talked about this before. And uh, then I sit down at my desk and I read my Bible. And uh, the last two years, I've kind of mapped out a reading plan just for me personally, uh, what I hope to accomplish. Um, for instance, for the next uh, three to four months, I plan to go through the book of Psalms one psalm a day. <laughs> some years I set these very lofty goals and then somewhere around June I fall off the wagon with my <laughs> with the way the pattern the bible reading plan that I have set up. But this way one psalm a day and actually lately I have been also combining that with some New Testament reading, some uh, Ephesians and Philippians and Romans just wherever um, I feel like going that particular day, but for sure, non-negotiable is one Psalm a day. So I sit down with my cup of coffee, with my Bible, and that is my daily routine. That is something that I have established, and no matter what, that's how I like to start my day. If I don't start my day like that, it just it feels off. <laughs> so my new goal that I am trying to establish is getting on the treadmill getting on the treadmill. So, and you know, James Clear talks about in Atomic Habits, basically making our goal stupid easy, like impossible to fail. <laughs> so while I have had it in my mind that I'm gonna get on the treadmill every day or every day that I can, um, I just have failed to implement that as a regular part of my day. And it usually goes something like this in my mind. Well, you know, I, I do want to get on the treadmill. I have it on my list of things to do. But then my mind negotiates and it says, eh, but you really don't feel like it. You really don't have enough energy. Eh, it's okay, tomorrow. <laughs> the proverbial tomorrow. And I am at a point where, you know, my birthday's coming up next month. I'll be 53. I don't want to put it off any further. I want this to become an automatic non-negotiable part of my day. So how do I make that happen? <laughs> how do I not, how do I kind of outsmart my brain in terms of negotiating myself out of it? Well, I talked about this before many times, setting out your clothes the night before. So that part, it's already, you know, laid out that you're already planning, you're already thinking, okay, that's the direction I'm going tomorrow. Well, my other th thought, <laughs> is that once I finish my coffee and my Bible reading, the very next thing, before I set out to do any other goal, any other things that are on my to-do list, and there are many, um, I will get my shoes on and go get on the treadmill. So I'm pairing that with an already established habit, and that is the next thing. So my brain just has to get with the program. <laughs> So that is my goal. Let me know in the comments below, what are your goals for this week? So my goal is five minutes. I always say you can do anything for five minutes, just show up. You know, sometimes you just have to show up and make it stupid easy, impossible to fail. And let's see if we can implement these goals and make them an actual part of our daily routine, non-negotiable. 
So here's to a great year ahead, a year of good health and new focus on our priorities and our goals. And uh, let me know in the comments below, what are you hoping to accomplish this week? And I will see you soon. Take care.